Every freaking time that I am changing the sheets of my bed, this happens. Yip yip, what are you doing? Come on, you can be there. He loves doing that. <laughs> oh my god, he starts playing with my hand. Come on, yip yip. By the way, he also loves to just sleep under the blankets. I'm going to close you in, okay? Come on. So this is my pillow goes right there then i have like the cat pillow this one is a different color because i want to keep track of like which one is my cats and yuki is still like down there with my cats i like to use just a trial and error method because you know they're cats they'll figure it out they're pretty smart and when he starts meowing i know okay he really wants some help getting out of there but he likes it he loves it and mocker is deciding like do i want to lay down on my pillow what's this weird thing under there i hear it breathing <laughs> are you interested besides so my bed is done. I'm going to take a shower. So I really have to take Yuki out. I think he's ready to come out. <laughs> he hasn't like notified me, but I think he's ready. Yeah, he is. So I made my bed and um, yeah, that's it for cleaning my house. I only want to clean my toilet. I also want to vacuum again. All kinds of stuff like was flying around. So I do want to vacuum this little tiny room again. And that's it. Then I'm going to take a shower. After taking a shower, I'm going to prepare my snacks for tonight. So I tidied up. Oh my god, I did not dust on here. Like, look at it. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Like, look at it. Okay, I still have to dust that. <laughs> Other than that, everything is pretty okay. Like, I tidied it up. I have my table, some candles, of course, my lemon tree, my bank or my couch, I mean. We call this thing like a bunk. And then the thing where we get our money at is also called the bunk, which is funny. And then there's the remainder of my ironing bead projects, but a lot of them have fallen off. I really have to repair it. My couch and then my table with lots and lots of games and some things I still have to clean, like the, the blanket and inflatable bed. And that's about it. So that's pretty, like it, it looks pretty neat. It's okay for me. So this is what it looks like. A little like tour of my living room. I also love my lamp. And I also still have to make good fitting pillows in that cat thing. And that's it. No, you cannot go outside, cutie. So I'm going to make my snacks. The only thing that I did not clean is the stove, but I am like, I I'm dead. I have done that like in the beginning of this week and you know, whatever, it's okay. I washed my pen and I cleaned like the surface. I'm still in the middle of doing some dishes, but that's okay. And then I have some supplies laying over here that I need to use. So first of all, I'm going to make some of these wraps with some chicken, some cream cheese, some nuts, some veggies. Really, really delicious. And also my little, like my younger sister wasn't able to come. Unfortunately, she has to go to the vet with her cat tonight. And I'm trying to make some of these because before they go to the vet hospital, before their appointment, they will come by and I want to give them both like one of these things because you know, that's just an easy to go meal for them. Because I don't think they are in the mood like for cooking and stuff. So I'm first going to make these, let's start. So I cleaned some chicken and I just like cut it into like these strips. I'm going to just bake it in a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to add some spicy um, spices. But also I'm going to try <laughs> to not add too much because this sauce is, oh my God, that's so spicy. It's like super, super hot. I, I love spicy, but I'm not the only one that's going to eat these things. So I'm going to try to not overdo it, but I do like spicy. <laughs>
So I package them like this so they can just eat like this. <laughs> it's like car friendly. Okay, time for a little sip of Fanta. So that's just mostly water. I'm letting that a little bit like condense. Oh my God, come on. I needed both hands for doing that, but I'm going to cook this other chicken. I'm also going to make one with cheese because one of my sisters is like a vegetarian. And you know, cheese is not entirely vegetarian, but she does eat cheese, so that's okay. So I'm going to make this one just the same as all the other ones, but then with some cheese. Last one is going to be the best one. Look at this color, oh my god. So everything is pretty clean. I also made some like lunch for myself tomorrow. I love these things. I have done some dishes, like, um, yeah, they're done. So I'm going to take a break. In half an hour, my sisters will be here. And I was also planning on making some hummus. So I'm just going to lay in bed or on bed for a while and like read the recipe to see if I feel like it because I'm pretty dead. And this is what my tortillas ended up looking like. I am going to cut into them in like 50 minutes or so. So that's, that's the fun part. <laughs> that's really like cute and beautiful. So let's see. It has been like five minutes. <laughs> I just decided to start. Uh, so this is everything that I'm going to need. First of all, I'm going to juice up. Is that the word? Like I'm going to get myself some lemon juice. I have some lemons. I want 60 milliliters. So let's do that and let's weigh it out too. We need, like I said, 60 milliliters. So let's see how much that is actually. Okay, so about this much. And then I'm also going to add some tahini, which is this stuff. I'm not making it from scratch. I'm just using this stuff. I'm first going to stir it through very well. Like, yeah, very good. <laughs> it's not going to get any better than this. So let's just add 60 milliliters. If you're wondering like, what the heck is this? I had no idea either, but this is like this sesame seed paste. I just taste it like a little, little tiny bit. It tastes very rich and flavor, like nut flavor, which is like the... <laughs> So let's add some. Then I'm going to mix this for like one minute or so. So this is what it looks like. I already added in a little bit of salt. Then I'm going to also put in some olive oil. I don't have like extra vierge or whatever, how you pronounce it. But you know, this, this is fine too, I guess. I hope 30 milliliters. That's a lot of calories. Well, three times, you know, three times like 80, give or take. So this is 30 millimeters. I'm going to add one little clove of garlic, minced, and about half a teaspoon of cumin, like ground cumin. Mix, mix, mix. This is what it looks like right now. And now I'm going to open, rinse, and add my chickpeas, or at least half of them first. Let's add those. And I'm going to let this mix for like a minute or so. After that, I'm going to scrape it up at the other half and then I'm going to mix it again. And then I will be mixing in a little bit of water to make it more smooth. And that's about it for the hummus. So let's do that. So this is what the consistency looks like, give or take. And I'm going to gradually slowly add a little tiny bit of water. And then if everything goes okay, it will smoothen up and it will have the perfect consistency. It's quite a lot, by the way, and it smells good. So this is what it ended up looking like. I will insert like a link in the description if you want to make it to a little bit of like, what's the word? To finish it off, a little bit of like uh, pepper, like ground bell pepper, no, paprika. <laughs> and that's it. And I tasted it, it's really, really good. So these are all my snacks. I have my like wraps, my tortillas over here. They are so cute, oh my God. And I have some veggies with some homemade hummus. And I have my bowl of chips. Looks really colorful. I like it. Let's eat this. Good morning, Lemfem. So it has already been two weeks since I had my groceries delivered. And these are my new groceries for the coming two weeks. So let's get them out of there and let's see what I bought this time. So first of all, I bought myself some milk, four liters of it. Last time I bought like three of them or four of them. I don't know. I just ran out. Like I waited for my breakfast because I needed some more milk. And I have four of the fresh ones and two of like the long shelf ones. I still have four of the long shelf ones. I don't know really why I bought them, but it's okay. Like they are good for a really long time. So they will be drunk. They will get drunken. 
I will drink them eventually. Then I have some cooking cream. I want to make a dish and I need this. I also have some creme fraiche also for a dish. Some parmigiano reggiano cheese also for one of my dishes. And because I just ran out. I have some yogurt and some quark. I'm not the biggest fan of like yogurt and quark. But I do try to eat it because you know lots of protein and stuff. Then I have some pepperoni because I'm going to make a homemade pizza. And this is going to be on top together with some other delicious stuff. I have some of this lunch meat. I really like this one. And I also have some of this stuff like salami. Also to like top my bread with. So let me put this away and show you the rest. These are all the items that I'm going to store in my freezer. I have two of those instant buns. I ate the last ones uh, after having one of those like little more more little binges. I have some of these like instant potatoes that you can just like pop in your pan and bake. I'm also going to just put them in my freezer for like an instant meal, convenient. Some bread buns. I wanted to buy these in case that I run out of bread. I have some other bread left because I love my bread. Some spinach, frozen spinach, and then like this loaf of bread and then half a loaf of this bread. This is like the, the corn bread, which I really like. This one's more healthy, but I want to change it up a little bit because sometimes I you know, I also want a little bit something that I really like. So this is just so I can change it up every now and then. And lastly, I have these things. These are just buns with like raisins in it. These are very easy. Like if I don't have the energy or don't feel like, you know, making bread and topping it with cheese and veggies or whatever kind of topping, I can just eat one of those because there's already a topping on it with like the raisins. But these ones are like, what was it? 250 calories, I think. Yeah, 250 calories for one. But that's all okay. This is just like a mix of convenient food and my bread that I love. Now it's getting a little bit cramped in there so but it's fine like it's not that much. Then I have some fresh produce. I have some mushrooms. Two of those like instant veggie mixes. Really really easy. Really convenient. And they were on sale still. Some iceberg lettuce, some bell peppers, a cucumber, some bananas, some chives. I like chives. Some Brussels sprouts and some broccoli. And that's it for my fresh produce. I also have some random items. I did not really know like where to put them on there. So <laughs> I have some whole wheat flour for making my pizza. I have some of these things. I really like them in like wraps, tortillas with cheese and my iceberg lettuce, some creme fraiche and some chicken. Really, really delicious. I have this nut mix of like unsalted and like not heated up, like not burnt. I don't know what the word is, but uh, yeah, just natural nuts. I have some raisins to mix it through. These are a lot of raisins though, so I think I'm only going to put half in there. It's just like when you have a little like small thing of nuts, there's it's nice to have like something sweet in there sometimes. I have some red onions, some chocolate sprinkles. I love them. Oh my God. Some whole wheat pasta, some whole wheat tortillas. I have this spice packet that I wanted to to try six eggs and this thing with meat. It's just this meat that you can keep out of your fridge. It's like a convenient food. It's very good to have on hand. I'm going to eat it together with this and then some sauerkraut and potatoes and that's about it. This goes into like my sweet bread topping basket eggs go in the fridge. By the way, funny fact, in the Netherlands we don't usually keep our eggs in the fridge. Like when we buy them in the store, they're not in like the fridge section. They're just out in the open. Oh man, really? Come on. Will it fit? We will make it fit. It's okay. That goes in there. Last week I bought some of these almonds to go in my like wraps when my sisters came. I'm going to add this thing to it and like half of the raisins. Although this is 500 grams of nuts. So this, yeah, it's going to be pretty full. I'm at least going to dump some of it in. And then a little bit of extra spare room for my raisins. About that much. Yum, 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 yum breakfast. <laughs> I waited for making breakfast because I needed some milk, like I said, because this is not enough. Holy shit, this thing is sweet, this raisin, oh my god. I think I need to put this in a bigger bowl though to just mix it up because this is a little bit hard. Let's dump it in here, mix, 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 and let's put it back. Six and a half hours later.
that goes right there and the rest of it i'm just going to pop that in one of those like ziploc baggies come on oh my god let's mix that up as well though about this much and then these raisins i'm just going to put them in a separate little bag as my weekly snack or as my like two weekly snack i bought myself some sugar-free fanta and also two of these energy drinks then i bought another two for guests and since the store that i bought these from is one of the only ones that has like this specific kind without like sugar and taurine and caffeine yeah i don't actually know what's left in here but whatever i asked my sister if she wanted a little bit on hand so i bought her like her little own pantry of these things that's about it i'm going to enjoy these three items over the coming two weeks and i think i'm going to have one of these today because i feel like it and then for some last items i got myself some cat treats because my cats really really like and uh also need cat treats because if i don't should use mocker with these things he runs up like all the flights of stairs to my apartment but he does not want to enter my like actual apartment until i take out one of these things i have some ziploc baggies i wanted to try this new kind normally i have different ones these ones are with you know this like zip zipper thing um yeah i don't really have good experiences with ziploc baggies with like the zip thing but we'll see maybe these ones are different i got some of this stuff this word is hard to say in dutch but i mastered it it's like aluminium but then in in english i am having a little bit of trouble with it i don't know if it's like aluminium aluminium yeah aluminium or what's the word oh my god i just said it right in my head aluminium yeah aluminium or aluminium i'm going to look for that though let's learn something new today i have some wet cat food and lastly i don't know but i forgot about these i bought some kidney beans and that's it for my grocery haul i've almost put everything away except for this i'm going to store those bags so they can recycle them next time i do have to find a spot though for my potatoes um yeah because i don't like them laying here but not right now i'm going to have myself some breakfast mister hey no 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 come on tu, 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 tu. Tu, 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 tu. Tu. so first breakfast and then i'm going to do some dishes then i go for my walk and then i'm going to do some editing and that's about it for today i think but i'm pretty hungry so breakfast first yeah this definitely was not going to be enough so i'm glad i bought myself some new milk also i am still so happy with my new fridge i love it it's huge but i love it and it starts beeping when i open it like for too long which is cool so i'm going to have myself some breakfast there are like little specks in there that's because i mixed in some like lint seeds i'm really hungry and it tastes really really good so bon appetit eat smakelijk i don't think i will bring you with me for my walk because it's a little bit gloomy but maybe i do i don't know we'll see let me just do my dishes and edit and go for a little walk and that's about it making some dinner but you know that's obvious so yeah um i'll see you later i am making some lunch i have some toasted bread i just toasted it in a pan as you can see i just topped it with some avocado i am going to sprinkle like very very thin sliced red onion on there just for some extra flavor i also added some salt and some pepper of course i am waiting for my second slice but i am going to insert my egg right here so let me slice it up and add it to there so this is what it looks like i am going to add my other slice on top and i am going to spread the leftover avocado over there or on there so a let's do that another round of some salt and some pepper i also like wiped down my plate and then i have some red bell pepper which i'm also going to distribute over my sandwich i like the sweetness of it give some crunch and i also just had some bell pepper left then some arugula it looks like pretty much dead it's a little bit like older arugula but it's still fine i just went through it and threw away like the the bad leaves i'm topping it with my last slice of bread like so oh my god that sound cutting through it so this is what my sandwich looks like i am going to have some lunch bon appetit eat smakelijk i forgot to add a little bit of lemon juice yeah let me just do that on top of my bread normally i would just put it on the avocado but i don't feel like taking my bread apart again this does make like the bread not that crunchy anymore 
that's okay. There are still two other slices in there. So that's it for my sandwich. I am hungry. I also still have to do this because I went to bed and slept for a few hours and then I woke up and I was like, oh yeah, totally forgot to do my dishes. I also really have to take a shower because yikes. Let's take a really, really big bite. Oh my God, there's all cat hair. Oh my God, ugh. That's really, really good. You can taste, or well, I can taste the um, toasted bread. It does have like a, I don't know, a different kind of flavor when it's roasted, right? However, I do think that the lemon on top does a bit of a fail because it's really strong. I think I'm going to turn it around while eating so that the lemon part is like on the, on the bottom. Or maybe I can just take the bread and turn it around like so. Yeah, that might be an idea. Let's just do that. But I really like it and some of you, Oh my God, those comments. Sometimes I see those comments and they always make me laugh. People saying like, oh my God, that's such a big meal. My whole family can eat off of that for like seven days. And it makes me laugh. I myself, like there are different types of eating. Some people eat like OMAD, which stands for like one meal a day. I myself, I eat three bigger meals without snacking too much uh, in between. So yeah, my meals are indeed a little bit bigger, but that's just how I like it. It helps me to stay on track. I'm still losing weight. I feel good doing it like mentally. So for me, this works <laughs> but yeah they do crack me up sometimes so but bon appetit i'm going to eat i really like this So my kitchen is clean, I feel pretty good about it and now I can make it like a mess again because I have to cook. It is almost 7 o'clock but I did do a lot of preparations yesterday. I already have some chicken that has marinated, I only have to cook it. I have some potatoes that are ready and then I'm going to eat it with some broccoli I think. So that's not too much work. I was just having a blast listening to some music, doing a lot of singing. That's what I like to do when I do my dishes. This is okay for now, but it's it's messy still. But I'm not going to do that today. Like I said, I need to find a long-term solution for these big potatoes. Oh no, you already had one. So I have taken a break and I'm going to make myself some dinner. I'm going to have some broccoli, like I said. And look at this poor thing. Oh my God. That's so sad. And also my sister and her husband are coming over and I was meant to give them these cookies like three years ago, but I didn't. And so I was like, yeah, I really, really have to bake these things. So I have my oven going right there and I'm going to bake these off so that I have something to offer them. And also I just want to get rid of them, to be honest. And in the meantime, I'm going to make myself some dinner Ooh, with my chicken and my potatoes, of course. So let's cook some dinner. I am going to cook or like, yeah, cook my potatoes. Give them like a little nice crispy edge. I think that's the word, like edge. I'm going to cut this one a little bit smaller though. It's a little bit too big. Oh my God, come on. Going to cover them in the olive oil that's in there. And then I'm just going to let these do its thing for a while. Let's cut up and cook some broccoli. So I baked my cookies there just like a tiny little bit too far. I'm placing them in here because I don't want them to be covered in cat hairs. I'm cooking my vegetables and I am making myself some potatoes. This is like 250 grams, give or take. I did weigh it out. And then I'll wait with cooking the chicken until like the last second because I want to use that pan so that I don't have to wash like 100 pans. Also, this is like ready in maybe minutes, maybe two. So right here I have my veggies, some broccoli, and I also ended up adding some Brussels sprouts because I just really love them. I have my potatoes over here. Let's add some chicken. Will it survive the cliff of doom? Yay. <laughs> just like that. And the other piece. 
right there. I would love to have something green, like maybe parsley or whatever, but I don't, so yeah, it's fine. Let's turn them over, I'll flip them over. That looks really, really delicious. Here's what I'm going to eat. I have my chicken, my potatoes. I added a little bit of like garlic sauce over here. Also with my potatoes, I am having this uh, zero added sugar apple sauce. I had this yesterday too. It's pretty, ooh, it's pretty good. And I have this bowl of veggies. I do have to say they are a little bit cooked like too long. So that's not really nice. However, I did not taste like the Brussels sprouts yet. Oh, those are good. Okay. <laughs> and of course, like a big bottle of water. So that's it. Bon appetit. Eat smack look. You're the night sky trying to make me see your star.